Let's record our voice using Movie Maker. In this video, we'll prepare the location, we'll prepare our microphone, and we'll save and add audio. Location. Do you need a recording studio to make your digital story? Just find a quiet spot to do this. Somewhere in the library, your bedroom, or an office. If you can, grab one of these headsets. It's a Logitech chat headset. They have them at the library you can borrow. Go ahead and plug it in. It's a USB and your laptop should recognize it. Again, just a quiet spot where you can record. I've already got this all set up. Now let's get into Movie Maker. Up here at the top, there's a menu that we want to click on and then options is what we want. And under options, again, it's audio and video. And here we'll see the available audio devices. I have quite a few listed here. Uh, whatever your default is will be the default. I'm going to choose the Logic Tech because that's what I have set up. And then go ahead and click on settings and now we can see this is our sound uh, drivers and it shows us a couple different options here. And I think if I talk, oh no, if I hit into the recording now you can see I'm talking and the green lights are indicating it's working. So um, I want to click on the, yeah, this is the Logitech one and I want to click on properties. And now I want to click on levels. I know we're digging deep here, but this is important because I want to bring the level down to about 60. Uh, yeah, about 60 and, and try out a recording. Just do a test. So I hit OK on this and then OK on this and then OK on this and I'm back. Great. I can start to do my test. So here I click on the home on the menu bar and I put my scrub bar right in the beginning at the beginning of my story. And now look up here on the toolbar. Let's see, here we go. Yep, there it is. N record narration. Now let's click this. And then now we have some simple buttons, record and cancel and stop. I'm right at the beginning of my story. So now let's record. So I hit the record button and there we go recording now. So now I'm just going to start reading my story like I normally would. Once upon a time, I was very unhappy in my job. So I decided, now I'm just going to stop and, and just, okay, so I hit stop and now this is important. It's asking me to save that audio. See how it has the audio there? But I don't want to save it in this structure here. So I want to find my folder, this failed interview folder, right? And I'm going to find my sound and now I can rename this if I want to, but I, you know, just go ahead and hit save. It's important that you save it in that sound folder. Now look at your timeline. You can see how the waveforms are showing up underneath your picture. So I'm just going to keep going along here recording. I have my script in front of me and I'm you know, telling my story into the mic. I'm not reading it off the page and I'm going along. I'm recording. I'm hitting save. Just pause here for a minute and point out that you might need to increase or decrease durations of pictures and we're going to talk about that in the next video but for now look at this I click double click on one of these waveforms and up up top it shows me this menu of things I can do you know control the volume I controlled fade in and out I can split the clip so I can split the clip if I decide I want to maybe move some space in between the the recordings again I can click on it and I press the delete key on my keyboard and it deletes it back by going up to the narration, doing the little pull down menu, now finding in my sound folder, finding that narration and hitting open and it's right back where it was. So keep plugging away at this, you'll get the hang of it pretty quick. In our next video we're going to talk about adding durations to image and video and how to make titles.